Okay, I do believe I am rolling once again. Welcome back to the stream, folks. And as I said, I am going to go ahead with Red Dead Redemption. Now, hopefully this works out well. I had to finagle a few things to get uh, my PS3 streaming through the capture card. See, because you can't do it through an HDMI cable with the PS3, apparently. So, I had to downgrade the output from 1080p to 720p. That's just the way it works. Although most PS3 games, including Red Dead Redemption, as I noticed, they max out at 720p anyway. I couldn't help but feel when I was testing it that the game looked not quite as good as it used to, but either that's just from downgrading it, or... I don't know. Maybe it's just... Uh... Just the fact that this game is seven approaching eight years old now, I believe, so... <laughs> Which makes me feel old, because I remember when it first came out, but then again, I remember when a lot of games on Super Nintendo came out, so, you know, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, enough of my preamble, let's, uh, see if I can get... there it is. Now, I already had <coughs> a couple of games started on Red Dead Redemption, as I had noticed. And hell, you can just, it just goes to show, you, you, you can tell when the last time I played this was. Let's see, the most recent save file is 2014. <laughs> so. We're just gonna go ahead and start a new game. Oh, the other funny thing I noticed when I tried to start this up, it's been so long since I played my, uh, played anything on my PlayStation 3 that the controller is dead. Like, my PS3 controller does not work anymore. I don't know if it's just because the battery has been drained so badly that it's, uh, not gonna work, or what, but... Luckily I have a, uh, third-party controller here that's a direct plug-in, so that's, that'll work just as fun. And it's laid out more like a PS4 controller anyway, so it kind of helps. Anyway, without further ado, let us begin Red Dead Redemption. Yes, I am sure I want to start a new game. <clears throat> I'm excited. As you can see, as the save file said, it's been a while since I've played this, and I really like this game. Even after seven years, it still looks like a pretty, like, like still a fairly awesome looking game. They did a really good job with the visuals in this. <coughs> and the soundtrack is pretty amazing, too. You're gonna be hearing me gush about this game quite a bit while I'm playing it, I'm sorry.
for one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. But Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. A lot of the things mentioned in the conversations on the train pop up again, surprisingly. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor. Which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mr. Because of course Bush. you can trust him. He's a priest, right? Also, one thing I completely forgot is that uh, Bonnie McFarlane is on the train with you as well when you first uh, start the game. If you've never played the game before, you don't know who that is, but we'll meet her again soon enough. I look the town drunk. It'll be okay. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. They're pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Oh, look, there's the drunk. Again. I think the train should have already left by this point, but I guess not. Whoa there. Oh, 
Well, it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? <laughs> it's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old Serena back to you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. It's gonna be pretty confusing for me trying to play this again, though, because... I, I keep Are you wanting, on spending any time in keep wanting Mr. to control Marston? the horse like the horse is in uh, I ain't planning on staying very long. Breath of the Wall. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> It was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. <laughs> Mercer, not a talkative man. You ain't very talkative, are you? See? No. <laughs> I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Also expect me to be killed by the wildlife very frequently, especially if I run into a cougar. Gee up. Come on, easy up now. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> and now we never see Jake again. I'm serious, you never see him in the game ever again. Yeah, the game is starting to show its age a little bit, but I'll be goddamned if it still doesn't look pretty. Come on! Look at that sunset. It's nice. for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you, think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. 
<laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <sighs> implores. I... I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor John. See, you gotta admit, John had a really terrible plan. <laughs> a really terrible plan. I mean, he knew Williamson had a gang. So it's like, I'm just gonna ride, ride up and appeal to, uh, appeal to Bill's best interests. And it's... very heavily implied that Bill Williamson is not the sharpest tool in the shed, so... It seems like he was the dumb muscle of John's old gang, so he he honestly should not have should not have expected anything better out of this. Also, hey, Locust, the lady from the train. You know, I've always wondered how they just happened to come across John because. They should know better than to go anywhere near the fort. And considering where McFarland Ranch is, there's not really any reason why... Not even any reason why they should even bother going around that area in the first place. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, a long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. <laughs> Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Also, that whole bit there where John tried to tip his hat to her and then completely forgot he wasn't wearing it. As someone who wears hats very frequently, you'd be surprised how often that can happen.
I also do like the nice little attention to detail that John does wince and move a little bit differently for the first little bit of the game on account of the fact that, you know, he was shot. So he doesn't immediately bounce back, and that's a nice little detail to put into the game. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarlane. I thought I wouldn't be familiar okay, with the inside of the jail cell. So. still ride a horse. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. I wanted to buy a parasol, damn it. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Now let's ride around, ride along the tracks because that's safe. Not that the train runs very often, let's be honest here. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Yeah! And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't bite. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Beautiful weather to be shooting small critters. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. Yeah, just give me a moment to rearrange myself and make sure my guts don't go falling out. And uh, we'll be good. Right. Follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Yeah. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Those damn rabbits are back. 
Give me a hand with them, will you? Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pop. That's it. Kill those little farmers. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, my aim is off. I know that. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're going to be digging up, uh, digging up bullets with your carrots now in the next couple of days. I fired into the if ground a couple the of times. Stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Is that a coyote? Get those pens before they scare the livestock. Come on, boy. Yes, you got one. Ah, I bet you're going straight for the chicken. Come. And that was a miss. <laughs> Go. Slow down. We didn't even lose any chickens. You didn't? <laughs> Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. So for the amount of time it took me to kill those damn things, I'm surprised they didn't slaughter the whole coop. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Ah. Crap. <laughs> Just plows the horse into the house. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Beautiful wife is no guarantee of full male potency. Just goes to show. Please be aware. I like how there's a butter churn right next to my bed. <laughs> Hey, ammunition. There's a change of season in the air. Steelers in my patient's bones. You don't say. I uh, just have the cattleman revolver and the repeater carbine. Or carbine, however you pronounce that. I was never sure on that. Yeah, of course, both of the base weapons are gold. I think it's got something to do with, uh, I know when I joined the Rockstar Social Club or something like that. I mean... It's nice, I guess. I've honestly never understood the appeal of having a golden gun in a video game, unless we're talking about Goldeneye, in which case those things could kill people in one shot. This is just cosmetic. Seems kind of silly. And I already have a couple of outfits unlocked, I think, due to the same reason. Gentleman's attire... Actually, no, I just have that one. The rest of them I have to unlock by doing things. Let's not bother with that right now, though. How are you, Mister? Howdy. Let's go have Chavo Bonnie. See what she wants me to do next. So you're getting not exactly spoiled for choice when it comes to missions starting off, anyway. Although, maybe I won't. Mister? Howdy, mister. Maybe I'll go on patrol instead. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. 
So Charlie is the uh, lead investigator on this case, is he? Case, he says, as if we're detectives or something. Whatever, the Dalek has seniority over me, that's what I'm saying. So far, it seems rather quiet. <laughs> be hilarious if the dog just came over there to feast upon the rabbit carcasses from like 10 minutes ago. Something's happening. I'm gonna have to calm down and think for a second, you crazy fool. I see you here again, you're dead. Get out of here. <laughs> I could have just killed them, but I don't think you get much of a reward for doing that. <laughs> Eventually you get a lasso and you can like hogtie people. Which is endless fun. Excuse me, buddy. Hot damn, twenty six dollars. I'm old Westridge. Go take a nap, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, let's just uh, put that in the last safe fall there. I mean, I may never play the two safe falls I have there already ever again, but. Let's swing on into the general store, see what they have. Probably nothing much. Well, hello there. They say a wind's gonna be in town. Nice place. Why, hello. I'm sure you'll find something you like here. I hear the Blackwater Ledger's gonna print about a big fire in the eight. I end up not buying much in the way of ammunition or stuff, and I don't end up buying horses either. Nah, he doesn't really have anything I want right now. That and I don't have that much money, let's be real here. Although I could get the war horse, apparently. I just may do that after I'm done talking to Bonnie. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. 
Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. <coughs> you spent money getting me back on my feet, and now I'm going to be taking your money by winning a race All against right, you. I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Presuming I can win the race against her. Yeah. Come on. Whoa there. Oh crap! <laughs> Almost went right by. Never On mind. On the count of three. Three, two, one. Go! I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Riding directly, lead the way. riding directly over a campfire cannot be good for the horse. Come on! Should I wait for you to catch up? I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland! Come! Oh crap. Nope. 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 <laughs> you call yourself a dangerous outlaw? Let's go! Now I'm calling myself a poor rider. I may not win this after all. I'm trying. Isn't this jolly? I remember one time Let's when go. I did this race, I rode right Almost off of that bridge and killed the horse. It was quite the utter failure. Are you saving the best for last? How you doing back there? Yeah. This is gonna be close. What do you think? Would you like me to slow down? Come on! Hey, 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 no, no, you can't, you can't overtake me, I'm sorry. I just got shot and left for dead, give me this. My pride will not withstand another blow. Hooray! First one to the chicken that wins. Was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Yes, John and his after mission smoke. Things how we're right here. It's just well to uh, talk to Bonnie again. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> 
Take the reins, Mr. Marston. Double the horsepower. <coughs> Quite literally. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So Don't run over me. the dog. Don't have run over the dog. Have you your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. It's probably a lot of traffic on these roads. Live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'm sure it'll be fine. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. The most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Well, it's always good to be polite to any man who had his hands in your guts. As a general rule, that's not a bad idea. as a um, expensive chewing tobacco. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. She said nothing about not shooting anybody else. Ah, yes. 
the fellow who just walked by the uh, walked past the screen just then. Um, the general store owner, probably the most hated man in the game, Herbert Moon. Believe me, we'll be hearing a lot from him. Guaranteed, at some point or another, I'm going to run into Armadillo, and he's going to run out screaming his own name, talking about how he's just been robbed. Let's play a hand of poker, why not? You're a nice lady and all, but <laughs> this ain't my thing no more. <laughs> That's one thing I always found pretty interesting about John's character, and that, that makes perfect sense, too. The whole gist of it is he's trying to get his family back. He's trying to get his family back. So, I mean, it makes sense that he wouldn't hire the services of a prostitute, because, you know, the whole thing with his wife, right? So it's a nice little character trait. Yeah, I should be able to remember how to play this, I'm sure. I'm not exactly a big poker player, but... Things will only get worse around here if that Nate Johns becomes governor. Now I'll call. I'll call. Now we got Hello, Herbert Moon today. again. Only live once, right? Not bad. Maybe. Um, I think I'll fold. <laughs> too much for me. I'm in. And then some. That man is betting way too much. <laughs> <laughs> Although, damn, I could add a pair of kings. I call. Well, I different... I'm gonna go visit Riley's charge when I get time. Although I probably lost there. Died. I've got a good feeling about this hand. The funny thing about Herbert Moon. The funny thing about Herbert Moon is that Check. we just saw him walk into his general store, right? And I got a pair of fours and five. I'll call it. And now I'm here playing poker against him. What what's happening here is there's actually two instances of Herbert Moon in the game. And sometimes when the two kind of like go back on their own schedules, they sort of merge, and occasionally a third Herbert Moon will be created. So there could be as many as three Herbert Moons running around in a town at the same time. Oh, jerk. I'm calling. Well, now that changes everything. Interesting. <laughs> I'll check. Something tells me I might just up and quit this at some point, though, because, um, I don't, uh... You're in. Good. Ah, screw it. Let's quit it now. And the way I play poker, I could have been there for the next half hour or more playing it. And still probably get busted, busted out, so... The fellows on the top hats are members of a group called Walton's Gang. I'll be ending up killing a bunch of them at some point or another, I'm sure. Quality. That was a hell of a storm last month. Hell of a storm. 
Mm. I don't have anywhere near enough money to buy any guns. Although, to be honest, in a lot of cases, you end up finding guns anyway throughout the course of the game, so it's, in, in a lot of time, a lot of cases, there's really no sense of buying it. You call me a chicken-headed guy? Hello. You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. Yeah, okay. Don't worry, I'll close your eyes before any ladies see ya. You should keep your opinions to yourself, pal. Prospect of dying certainly focuses the mind, doesn't it? Now, let's see if I can do this right. I used to be pretty good at this. Now, maybe not so much. There's a way you can do this without actually killing your opponent. You get a lot more fame that way. I think you gotta wait. Oh, I did it! Nice! <laughs> I'll be taking your gun, thank you very much. I could have just straight up killed him, but... Anyway, let's go talk to the marshal. He's an interesting fellow. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Charming. Shut up, you. Now what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. <sighs> you that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. The adults are speaking now. And you? Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, <laughs> hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. 
I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. <laughs> all right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. I like Marshall Johnson. He's I've always liked him as a character. Come on, then, Marston. Follow me. How are you? Who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. I like how Walton top screw. Let's get out. Like how Walton, the leader of Walton's gang, Come on, don't lose him. has the tallest top hat. <laughs> Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. So basically, it's a gang of hats, and the man with the tallest top hat is clearly the one in charge. Well, maybe if I steal his top hat, I can be the man in charge. Hold up, Marston. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Slow it up now. I get to be in my first gunfight. Goody goody gumdrops. I tried. <laughs> Get to that crate. I got you covered. Take that fella behind the rock, boy. <laughs> you boys should take that shot. Damn you. You should have stepped up. Okay, my aim is way off. <laughs> I'm trying to go for a headshot and I keep failing. Even in Dead Eye, apparently, I can't shoot right. Now get behind that outhouse! Ain't sure we've seen the last of them! Follow me! Now you and his quick way! Deal with those two, boys! That's better. You ain't getting away this time! Yeehaw! Who's that woman you brought with you, Marshal? Take him alive if you can. Ah. <laughs> Bang. Your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. 
You never need that kneecap anyway. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Now, if you excuse me, I have to rifle through their pockets to see if they have anything useful. Oh, this guy flew back pretty far. Isn't he right next to the corner of the, corner of the house? I don't know what that guy's shooting at, but he can uh, just just carry on with his life, I guess. That's a fellow just running around on foot. And now maybe he was hunting some uh, critter. Did he just... Excuse me? <laughs> he was just taking a leak and he told me to prepare to suffer. That's confusing. More than a little scary. Am I getting closer to the sound of gunfire? I think so. Yeah, what's going on here, man? Snake. Oh, what were you eating? Snake things? Come to me, horse. Heed my call. Little bit of hunting one ghost, right? Make a little bit of extra cash. This is dirty. Oh, where to next? I mean, the marshal's pretty close by. I can go have a chat with him again. I can always go back and see what Bonnie wants done. I don't know how much it costs to rent out that room in, uh, whatchamacallit, the inn. Let's go. Let's go find out, shall we? Ooh, before I do, though, I should check out that treasure map. Easy. I'm actually not too far from that one. That is... Here somewhere, I think. No, no. I don't think it's there. I think it might be here. Come on! I 
I'm pretty sure I remember where most of the treasure in the game is, but I'm still not 100% sure, so... I say this one, this one I think is relatively easy to find, though, if I remember right. We got this here hanging tree up this way. Let's go. I have begun earning the loyalty of my mount. Alright, so let's take another look at that map, see if I know, can pick out exactly where that is. Let's see. It's behind a trio of rocks, looks like it's a little ways back from the... ...tree itself. Are you going to be one of those assholes who steal my horse? I get the feeling it's going to be a yes. Actually, I got a better idea. See you around. Get back here, <laughs> you son of a bitch! You thought I was a good guy? <laughs> oh. But he's so tried to steal my this. horse. Why am I the bad guy here? He's tried to steal my horse. That's the flower. I like how he said that's the uh that's the flower, as if it was something he was specifically looking for. There are quests that in, I say quests, the quests that involve you looking for specific flowers, but I have not taken one of those yet. So I like how I said it was uh, I was earning the trust of my mount. No, I'm probably going to replace it pretty soon with that war horse. Pretty sure it was around here somewhere. Can't remember. It is kind of hard to tell with the maps the way they're drawn sometimes. It's hard to say if it's really close to where the tree is or if it's a bit further off. In any case, I don't know if I'm going to be spending all my time looking for a freaking treasure box, so I'll wait for now. Take a look at that map one more time, though, and I'll give it one more once-over on horseback, and if I can't find it, I'll just leave it be. Because it appears the tree is in the background and it's underneath a rather large rock. Hell, honestly, it's probably this one. I mean, maybe. Of course it is! Da, na, na, na. Maybe my luck's turned. Right, 
Rhodes Gold. Come on. And of course, having our treasure map. Let's look for treasure. Okay, I've got a general idea where that thing is. Uh, for now, though, let's go check out... Now nah, let's just go down and talk to the marshal again. Go! So off some of the crap I'm carrying. Sorry about that, my friend. Whoa. Oh, it looks like the stores are closed, so I'm not going to be able to sell anything right now anyway, but... Yeah. Hello there, miss. Oh, they took my boy! My boy! Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? No. Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. So there's not much hope of me actually finding them. I'm gonna talk to the marshal first. Just to some pike spacing. Oh, I remember this. I believe this is a. Hello, hello. It's Armadillo Seven Three One. What is it with these things? <laughs> hello. It's a new line. Hello, hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna <laughs> hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> You're going to notice a recurring theme in this game. Please, sir. He's just a young boy. I'll help you in a moment. <clears throat> and the recurring theme is, to get anything done, Marson has to help everybody. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget, you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, 
I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Ah, uh, Jonah. Bit of a be honest tool. with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Yep, now I reckon. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the Bollards. It's the Bollard Twins gang, another outlaw gang that's operating in the area. So it's them, the Waltons, and Williamson. Oh, there. Everybody dismount. Follow me. Yeah! Let's go! Boy, Stay go. alert, boys! Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. That's okay, I'll kill them, them and take their guns. Good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. I just see a fellow going up that way. We'll keep things even and go with Marshall. What the Me and you get Marston. Let's hope this goes as well as last time. Hellfire. Have I hit anybody yet? Bastards. Well, come on, oh. I hit him. <laughs> Looks like we got him. Let's move on. Stick with me. Look, the deputies are making progress. Good for them. Eyes up! We ain't finished yet. The fools ain't got themselves killed. I think they're doing pretty good. You got one. Ah, the Wilhelm scream. The inclusion of that in this game just makes it that much better. Let's clear out that camp. Watch yourself. Looks like they have some backup. Let's get these sons of bitches! Tell the ballers to give themselves up, or we'll kill every last one of you! Damn you! Oh, we're probably gonna kill you all anyway. Nice shot! That's all the sons of bitches. I'll head up the ridge to scout it out. See if there's any spare ammo in that camp. Hey! Stay with me! But you told me to search the camp. John seems to be doing an awful lot of heavy breathing. Maybe he's getting really excited. Probably didn't. Find cover! Damn it, Marshall. Or in their case, maybe a brain, but, you know, maybe I'm too mean, 
too cruel on them. Damn fine shooting, boys. Come on, let's regroup. Brim seems to be doing a lot of creaking, man. Just a little something for my troubles. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. All right, this is my trippy life. As can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. Crouch means automatic stealth. Video game logic. You know they're not going to do that. Help me out here, will you? That bastard will be rusty no more. Move and you're dead! Pray! We killed everyone. Meep. I think that's all of them. Ow. Fine shooting, boys. Now come on, let's untie those hostages. Yeah, give me a moment. <laughs> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. <laughs> yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman <laughs> who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs> I love how cynical Johnson is. <laughs> He's a bitter old man, this great. <clears throat> Post mission smoke. Don't think you'll be needing this. That's, uh... Do a little bit of looting, shall we? We did kill plenty of folk just then. I couldn't even be needing the contents of their pockets anytime soon. Oh yeah, I was gonna get the deed for that war horse, war horse activated. Please don't run over the cliff. Please don't run over the cliff. Oh, that's it there, I think. I've seen horses do some damn stupid things in this game. Let's go check that out, and then I'll go find Mr. West Dickens, who's on down that way. Let's 
Let's go. Sorry, old horse, but we're not friends anymore. Nigel West Dickens is probably one of my favorite characters in this game. When I meet him, you'll maybe see why. He's a con artist and he's a liar, but god damn it if he's not entertaining. If you've never seen this game before, the other thing I'm going to have to warn you up front is that it can get incredibly bleak. As a matter of fact, it's incredibly bleak almost all of the time. Like, a lot of the random encounters you come across usually have something to do with something horrible happening to somebody. I haven't come across any random encounters yet, but when I do, you'll probably see what I mean. Well, aside from the guy who tried to steal my horse, I suppose. Okay, riding down that way was pointless, because I need to get up on this ridge. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. This does not bode well for that woman's son. Boot, blood, and bone. And considering the name of the mission is American Appetites, um, I'll let you figure out for yourself what the uh, plot twist of this minor mission line is. I will say it's not really that hard to Let's figure go. out. <laughs> hey. Alright, let's go have a chat with Mr. Wes Dickens and see how he's doing. Poorly, I would imagine. Prior to doing that, though, let's uh, stop in and see if I can actually buy um, or rent out that room in the saloon. Should have enough money for it now. I don't think it's terribly expensive. Whoa there! Let's go! <clears throat> you know, I got to say, aside from a few little quirks, um, the horses in Red Dead Redemption are probably the best ones to try to control in a video game. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? You rotten son of a bitch! Help! Someone! Thank you. Mister. I'm gonna cut you a new. Leave that lady alone. Damn. I guess that's that then. I suppose not all men are bad. <laughs> ah! What the hell? I'm glad to be a service to the oldest profession. Save a woman's life and you start shooting at me? What the hell? <laughs> it was a dude inside the bar, too. I mean, jeez. 
How do you do? Forgive me, sir. Which one of you assholes were shooting at me? What are you doing? And like nobody, no, nobody cares now, apparently. <laughs> That's ah, so only 50 bucks, so I can afford that. Woo! Also, another fun thing about this game you can get into a fist fight with anybody, and you can't actually kill them, and they can't kill you as long as they're just using the fist. So, bar fight! Although now I'm getting... Yep, okay. <laughs> Bar fight! You're gonna need a new set of nutcrackers. Excuse me, what? Okay, I'll just focus on you. Mister, you look more melty than a candy bar in the desert. <laughs> Okay, it's the first time I've heard that insult in this game. There's some creative insults in this game, but mil more melty than a candy bar in the desert is a new one on me. You got something in the seat of your britches, mister! This may have been a poor idea. <laughs> Especially since I can't remember how you block or dodge. Okay, that's how you dodge. Now this is gonna help me against four opponents, but... Oh crap, I didn't mean to hit you. Okay, now it's five on four. I mean, five on one. Five on four, what am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, sure, just stomp the crap out of me, why not? Now it's a six? I think it might be six. Run away! Ow, ow, ow! Run away! Oh crap, they're chasing me. What happens if I pull a gun? Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just caused two of them to shoot each other. That's what happens when the fists start flying. And I think I may have gotten him in trouble with the marshal. Yep. Oh, it's always nice to cause a bit of havoc. Yeah, you guys do that. I'm gonna go get hammered, I think. You there, my boy. I need to get blind drunk. I need to use my hard-earned money to destroy my liver. I 
I need another. You ready to bend the elbow tonight? See, I like how Morrison gets efficiently drunk. He just goes shot after shot of bourbon until eventually he passes out. It's like, I'll have more, and now I'll have more, and now I'll have more. What is this, the temperance movement? I'm dry here. Bottoms up. We live in horse. There's no replacement for a lady. And I believe that man back there was talking about bestiality. That requires another drink. I think I may be finished. Yep. <laughs> I love how he just goes limp. Like, oh, no, I'm done. Now I'm just slowly and gently sliding across the floor. Are you gonna get up or are you just gonna keep mopping the floor with your face? Nope, still drunk. <laughs> Okay, now to navigate my greatest enemy, the stairs. Oh, wait, no, he's sober again. Alright. Anyway, that's enough messing about. Let's go actually talk to uh, Nigel West Dickens. I wonder if I can jump on my horse from here. I can! It makes no physical sense, but it worked. Like, I'd have to jump off the balcony, do a complete 180 in midair, and then land on the horse without rupturing my nutsack. But I did it! Because Marston is a magic man, apparently. Save you, mister? Maybe. Whoa. You saved my life, mister. Here, please take this. My pleasure, partner. And I get a bunch of furs for my trouble. This will fetch a good price. That. Sounds like there's a bunch more coyotes around here somewhere. The wildlife can get downright nasty after a while, especially if you're uh, surrounded by them. Still. <laughs> the cougars can one hit kill you if you're not careful, the coyotes can gang up on you, the wolves are even worse. And the bears, which I'm not going to run into for quite some time. Are like ninja. Make this quick. They're completely quiet until they're right behind you. And then, oh god, help you when they catch you. You stink! Mm. 
Now, there were a couple of glitches that were patched out of the game years ago, not long after it was first released, and I'm kind of sad I didn't get to see them. <laughs> I'm kind of sad I didn't get to see them. Um, because they sounded pretty ridiculous. What ended up happening in a lot of cases were the character models for the wildlife accidentally got swapped out with human character models. Ah! That's it. Lie down. So in those cases you would get Cougar Man and Donkey Lady, and you could even ride Donkey Lady, and it was horrifying. Donkey Lady was a woman who usually showed up down in the Mexico portion of the game, and she was a woman with the face of a donkey. <laughs> and you were able to ride her, and it was bizarre and disturbing. And the man I saved was killed by more coyotes. This is nasty. Nasty. Alright, now that I've gone a hunting and saved a man and then had the man die on me again. Come on! Okay, those sound like wolves. Also, much like GTA, GTA protagonists prior to Grand Theft Auto 4, I think it was, or could you swim in 4, I can't remember. Uh, Marison cannot swim. He basically melts when he's in water. Although, at the very least, he actually says he can't swim in a mission, in a certain mission, so... Excuse me! Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck a fuck, god damn it! Good heavens! Excuse me? <laughs> I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hurry, sir! I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog! You'll be fine! Just focus! Ah, Nigel West Dickens. Overly and hilariously you dramatic. Take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished! Done for! Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo! What is your name, friend? John Morston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Bollard Twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! Word sure travels fast around here. They're back! I'm done for! You're killing me! Get back out the damn hole! It's gonna take more than one of you, partner! Excellent! Apparently it will even make more, take more than two. What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I <laughs> give so much, still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. I would... Yeah, yeah. 
I'm trying, damn it. I'm trying. There. Make sure you stay on the road. I don't know how much I can take right now. Leave the driving to me. I'll go as easy as I can. Death, I embrace you. For Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. We're Take nearly there. Me into your arms. <laughs> We're here. Stay with me. Kill me, Lord. Oh, oh. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. <laughs> And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. <laughs> yeah, man, for the most part, I, I love the voice acting in this game, and I love the character interactions. And Marston, Marston himself is probably one of my favorite video game protagonists ever. I mean, he's got a hell of a lot of personality. There's a lot of different quirks about him, and the, I don't know, it's just good. Like I said, I, I can gush about this game all day. Wait, you wait, you can further explore New Austin. I may do just that. See, let us see. Let's go back and have our chat with Bonnie, maybe. Well, hello. Enjoy the day, Mister. Or maybe we'll get into another adventure along the way. Who knows? around shooting up the town. Bunch of jerks. Now it a Ah town hey, jobs in town. Pay twice as much. Nice. Looked like they had a fella on uh, a hogtie behind their horses, but I don't know what happened to him. Also all the bodies disappeared except one, that's a bit strange. Yeah, you're very frequently in this game see so outlaws just randomly messing with people like a bunch of assholes. And of course it's up to yourself whether you intervene or not. Another dude for me to talk to. Let's go talk to the dude. Hi, dude. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd be my pleasure. 
Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. Are you going to use yourself? For? What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, why well, does he assume I'm from back man east? Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me. So. People act funny around strange men with sticks. <laughs> they sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Funny thing being, of course, I was over by Old Pleasant's house not too long ago, where I killed a bunch of people. Kind of makes me wonder what Walton's gang was doing at Pleasant's house if I have to go buy it off of an old fella now. I, I always wondered that. Like, was he tangled up with Walton's gang somehow? Or? Mysteries for the ages. Wow, that's quite the crowd. <laughs> the one thing you learn quickly about this game, it pays to shoot everything. I hear gunshots, I see a lot of birds hovering over there, that kind of makes me think I know what's happening. Come on. Or it could be mistaken. A lot of times you... Wait. A lot of times you hear gunshots in the distance and if you see a uh, flock of birds hovering in the sky, um, there's a guy, like... Gives you a sharp shooting uh, test. Maybe I did stumble across that. I don't know. Let's go. How good are you with iron? And there we are. I bet you can't beat Ira Shelton in shooting. I'll bet you money. Sure. Why not? I like watching a man do work. That's what dead eyes for. Of course, there's a lot of trees in the way. Not such a hot shot after all, are you? Ain't that something? All right, here's your winnings. Yeah, that wasn't as bad as I would have expected then. So there's all these challenges too. Um, let's see, sharpshooter, shoot and kill five rabbits, master hunter, skin five deer, survivalist, click six wild, fever few, and treasure hunter is just find the treasure. 
challenges give you different benefits, I think. I can't remember what they all are. There's some wild fever few, though. That's what I wanted. So is the store open or no? Probably not. Well, I mean, I can go inside, but there's nobody here. Wait, maybe there is. I believe the new How are you, Mister? Will be sure. I don't mind a little dickering. Another satisfied customer. Doing business with you. I ain't never heard of him. Hey, hello. Spread the word. Howdy. No, hang on to the gold for now. I might find a better place to sell. You got yourself a bargain. And I think I need the flowers for like a side mission or something. The other interesting thing you note is that not every general store charges you the same price for things, because I think it all depends on supply. Like, any materials that you can find easily around McFarland's ranch isn't going to sell very well in the general store, but if I was to sell that down in, say, Mexico or further up north, both areas that I can't access yet, because, you know, we all know how much Rockstar loves their broken bridge idea, you'll get more money for it. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say <laughs> is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks. Trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. <laughs> and he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. 
Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. Or tried to leave. Uh, I said too much, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. <laughs> now I've become a literal cowboy. Well, I suppose if it was a literal cowboy, I would be half cow, half man. But no, cowboy in the traditional sense. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Oh. Good to see you, Miss McFarlane. Whoa! Come on! He's got Stay it. behind him, Mr. Marston. Nice job, Mr. Marston. Keep on moving. That's it. Come on. Herd the cows down the road. Pretend you know what you're doing. Here Come on, you dumb heifer. Easy now. Still the Ain't that hard, is it? I've always hated doing these missions, herding cattle. This way, we need to take them out to the pasture. Get moving, damn it! Get moving. Forward. Stay together, you dumb animals. Move, let's go. Move, move. Kyle, stun his bricks slightly mad. Move it up. I mean, you know, Mr. Marston. He's just Good. showing up. Now, now we need to move this entire herd out to the far pasture for grazing. Yeah. Hey. Move. Wait back and forth behind them. Keep them nice and tight. Keep them tight now. Come on, let's go. Let's go. That's a big herd for Joe. Move on. Time. Move on. Let's go! You got to straggle. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Mer. Well, let's see, I've killed a bunch of men, and I've hurdled a bunch of cattle. Come on! I'm thinking that may be quite enough for one night. Let's ride on back and save it. Let's have a game of horseshoes first, because why the hell not? Because after, uh, you know, after a couple of days of blowing men's skulls apart and herding cattle, 
to wind down with a good old game of horseshoes. How good is you at throwing horseshoes? I may be terrible at throwing horseshoes, but we're going to find out. Horseshoe push R up and down. You can aim left and right with L. Use L2 to line up the shots. L2, uh. This is gonna suck, probably. Oh, okay, there we go. That's better. Let's try there. Okay, that wasn't good terrible. That was pretty good. Okay, what's happening? Alright. <laughs> Enter your bet. Eh, let's bet five bucks. I am now playing for money. And we don't need to watch his turn. He's not worth it. Rufus Bird. Oh, that was too high. Oh, been the win. So I landed right on top of one of his. <laughs> Man, that was too short. Oh crap. That was weak. <laughs> that didn't work. That was better. However, I'm still losing. This man knows his way around a horseshoe better than I. Crap. Too much. Too little. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked at this game. Can I, I say, can I at least get on the board with like a point or something? Yay, one point. <laughs> okay, that was not good. <laughs> That's the complete opposite way. You've done this before. Crap. Crap. <laughs> well, 
Well, I've never played horseshoes before, not that I can remember. I remember playing washers once and being relatively good at it. I was also very drunk at the time, so I have no idea if that helped or not. I think I may have hit the wagon behind the uh, thing there. How dare you? How dare you? Win at horseshoes. Hello there. Hi, that man is very excited. Anyway, now that I've got my ass roundly handed me by playing horseshoes, I think that might be. A good time to call tonight. All right. Well, it feels really good to be playing this again. Again, I love this game, and then it's a bit slow starting off. Now I remember, but things start getting more and more insane the further you get into it. I mean, there's a lot of intrigue and plots and stuff that Morrison gets involved with, and oh my God, the shootouts. Yeah, mister. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, especially when you get down to Mexico in the uh, second part of the game. It's like things get crazy when you go down there and it's really fun. So anyway, it was really good to be playing this again. And it's really good to be streaming again, of course. And I thank anybody who stopped by, as always, very much for doing so. Stopping by, watching, hanging out. And I hope to see you folks again next time. So until then, I wish you a goodbye, a farewell, and a good night. Ta-ta for now.